Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke family, our friends, our well wishers. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson. We're here at the St. Luke Christian Church where God is with us seeking to save. Even in this environment that we're in, God is with us seeking to use us to touch somebody, to bless somebody, to be the light that someone can see him uh, through. So God is with us. We want to be instruments used by God to reach others amen amen we're glad to be able to come into your home i was telling you earlier in the pandemic we're not paralyzed in this pandemic we will not park our prayers nor our praise regardless of what predicament we may be in we're going to trust in in the lord he amen is able to get us through uh this 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 time we, we had hoped it would be over by now but uh, things are still going on. The pandemic is still on us. The virus is still uh, raging. People are still dying. We just got to keep trusting uh, that God is up to something. And we have to continue to praise, uh, continue to worship God in this environment. I often tell you, and I won't stop telling you, that quite often trouble comes to test the genuine nature of our faith. Trouble assaults us. Trials attack us. Tribulation pile themselves on us. But we claim to have faith and trust in God. And it's not so much that God doesn't know. We need to know where we need to grow. Amen. Sometimes we'll think we got it, but God allows something to touch us to let us know our, our faith um, is sometimes uh, ha ha has to be tested. Amen. Amen. It's prayer time. We thank God to be able to come into, into your home and, and pray with you through this um, virtual, in this virtual way. We pray that you are uh, with us in this, that you are um, worshiping God in this situation. We, we just pray that you are being used by God, allowing God to enter your home, um, learning to praise him there and worship God there in this situation. Letting the devil know you can't stop my praise. You can't paralyze my praise. You won't make me park my prayers and you won't stop me from petitioning uh, my father. Amen, amen. And it's good in his heart, in your homes, will help it when you're in public again. And I believe if the church, we, the people of God, we continue to praise God uh, where we are, where, wherever we are, whatever in whatever state we are in, to give God the glory, honor, and praise that he deserves. And uh, listen, uh, this pandemic is going to be over. I don't, I don't believe this is the end of all. I believe this is a new beginning. God is going to work through this and put us on different platforms and different uh, areas of our um, social walk. Things are going to, I believe things are going to get better. Amen. That's just my hope. That's just my prayer that we awaken into a reality that um, we need God. Amen. It's prayer time. I want you to, I want you to, if you will, to, um, Focus on, focus on that thing, that situation, that circumstance, that trial, that tribulation, that need, that need, that need. What is it that you can't handle? What are you dealing with that you know you can't handle? What what have you been trying to handle and it messed up? What what, what is it? What is it? Lay it on the altar of your of your heart. You want to ask the Lord, Lord, help me with. Is if it, is it the marriage? Is it the, is it the children? Is it soundness in the mind? Is it health? strength in the body is it the job is it fear anxious and or anxiety 
or is it resources? Help me, Lord. Help me. I want to become a better friend, a better spouse, a better parent. Help me, Lord. It's prayer time. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor. God, we give you all the praise in this hour. We said, let your will be done. Have your way. You, you are God and you know what's best. You're Father. We know because you love us. You're going to do what's best for your children. Father, we just ask you to hold us in the hollow of your hand. Give us the power to praise you. Thank you to manifest you to others in our uh, words and our, and our ways and our behavior and our action, God, we ask that your name be glorified, God. You are wonderful, God. We come in the name of Jesus. We come because of blood that was shed to give us a place in your presence, God. And here we are, undone, undone. But thank you for letting us have this place that we can enter your presence, undone as we are. Jesus makes us complete, God, and we just have confidence as we come that you're focused and that you're looking, that your favor is toward us, oh God. Thank you. Thank you so much, God, for goodness and mercy that we cannot earn and did not deserve, but you kept bestowing and keep bestowing, Father, thank you. Thank you, God. Let your name be glorified in, in, in Jesus and God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for a word that we may know your ways. Thank you, God. Thank you for your word. We ask, Father, you give us those resources that we need to glorify you. Those resources that will um, be understood uh, as resources given by our Father to his children. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We, 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 we pray for your favor. Hallelujah. In each home right now, under the sound of my voice, your favor, oh God, in the name of Jesus, your favor in the homes right now, your favor in, in relationships in the marriage right now, God, in the name of Jesus, your favor, favor in relationship between parents and children right now, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for favor in the relationship between people called step-parents. We pray for peace and we, we pray favor, God, that there will be love and understanding that, God, we just pray. We pray for it. We pray for the resources. Give us that we need to glorify for you. Forgive us, God, because we come short. Forgive us as we forgive others who come short, God. Forgive us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, for you are the kingdom. The power and the glory, all of it's yours, God. We, we pray for our seniors, every one of them. Every, every senior, God, every senior. We pray for those on uh, our sick list and those who are grieving because of the loss of loved ones for the Munsons and Brother Freeman, God. We pray that you comfort them, oh God, in this hour. The, those who are convalescing and mingle and pray for Brother Hall and Brother Burris and Michelle Woods and Sister Defense and Mother Tiny Ellison. Hold them, oh God. Keep them. We ask you to hold them, God. And there are others, Mother Flowers. Hold our seniors, God. We, we pray your favor in these years for our seniors, God. 
that they find that they be at peace, God. We just say thank you, God. We pray for those who are still recovering from uh, the bad weather, those recovering from the fires. We pray for our, those who are, God, we ask uh, you to refresh hospital workers on every echelon, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are hospitalized with this COVID-19 and others. God, we, 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 pr we pray, God, for Regina Brooks. Hold her in your hand, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to, uh, for favor right now, in Jesus' name, hold her, God. We, we just say thank you. We give you glory, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. Guide us through this, this period, God. We pray for protection in the name of Jesus. Build your hedge of protection around us. Do what a face mask nor the shot can do. Do it in Jesus' name we pray. We say thank you for the vaccines. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It, 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 was, it, was, it was done in record time. And we know man didn't do it. We believe you did it. So, God, I pray for those who are ambivalent, those who are hesitant, those who are afraid. And those who are just downright hard in it, God, we, we pray, God, that you give a word, show a word, show a way. Let them see that this um, virus is not about uh, anything except taking humanity out, taking your image out. We say thank you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We do it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We was just so glad to be with you. I, I wanted to talk to you out of the Old Testament today, just for a moment, a word from our history and a word that I believe helped um, our people who were um, in hard, oppressed times, I believe, and I, I could hear them um, trust in God, believe in God. Another word, another word in First King, uh, chapter seventeen, and I won't be long. I won't be long. I won't be long. It's in First King, chapter seventeen. First King, chapter seventeen. One of the things I want to um, emphasize with you is that one of the Things that glorify God means is to give God the credit for your life. Give God the credit for your successes. Give God the credit for your accomplishments. Give, give God, glorify God instead of taking God's glory and believing uh, that you just, I've worked hard and I've done this and I've done that and that's why I am where I am. That's giving you glory. But, but, but being humble enough to realize, as David said, if it had not, thank you right there, Holy Ghost. If it had not, I was in a situation and, and I, I have to remember, I was in a situation where there were some young brothers complimenting me but they, they, they didn't know I come from a poor family, didn't have much, but the Lord been good to me. And when they were talking to me, I'll never forget this, was what I did was I shared some of my strategies. I shared some of the things I had done. I shared with them how much more they could do if they applied my strategies and, and, and prepared themselves in certain ways. At that point, I was working on a, a property that I purchased, and uh, the young boys, um, you know, uh, came by. And, 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 and when they left, the Lord said, no. You missed an opportunity to give me my glory because you know 
T.C. Johnson. You know where you come from. And I declare you didn't come from there by yourself. We, we, we need to humble ourselves and give God the glory. And that's what in earlier generations would do. They'd say things that I don't hear often now. Lord willing, I'm going to do such and such. If it's the Lord will. We... we say things as if we have power over tomorrow. I'm going to do such and such. We never think about if the Lord allows it. I'm, I'm talking about believers now. So much so to we are more about grumbling about what we don't have than we are thankful for what we do have. Amen. I want to lift up a lesson. And, and the earlier generations in their situation in life, it was tough. It was hard. But I heard them have church in cotton fields, peanut fields, on creek banks trying to catch not, not, not a trophy fish, but a fish for a meal. I heard, I heard them praying and praising, not on Sunday, but through the weeks. Not only was it in the church house, but it was in every house, you know, where you had to pray. You had, you had to pray. Before you touched the food, you had to pray. God was a staple, the staple in the life of people who didn't have much, who was in um, terrible times. But they kept God in view. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and God blessed them, blessed us. We bless in ours. But the more it seems the blessing, people forget about the blessor. Let's, 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 hey, hey, and in times like these, in troubled times, when things were rough, they say little things. I want to remind you of one in a lesson tonight in uh, the 17th chapter of First King, and I want to read a few verses, and we're going to talk for a moment, and I'm going to let you know, but let you go, but I want to tell you something tonight. I'm going to tell you something that may help you um, lower be in anxiety and fear and scare and worry about what is the world coming to. All of this stuff is going on. In the 17th chapter, book of 1 King, in the King James rendering, and Elijah, Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, Elijah, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Sherith, that is before Jordan, and it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook Sherith, that is before Jordan, and the ravens bought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. I want to talk to you a minute. I want to remind us of something that Grandma them often reminded us of. They would say these words, the Lord will make a way somehow. And that's what I want you to know. That's what I want you to learn. That's what I want you to take in. That's what I want you to rest in, to have peace in. It's the, the Lord will make a way somehow. 
In, in the days of Elijah, the prophet, uh, new king Ahab, Ahab was a rotten king, a rotten ruler. And he was a weak king as it relates to relationship with the God of Israel. Ahab married outside his privilege. He married Jezebel, who was a Baal worshiper, an idol god worshiper. And, 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 and Ahab, if you read um, chapter 16, you discover that Ahab provoked God. He, he did things to provoke the Lord. He, he was a, you know, the Lord hates a lying tongue. He, he, Ahab did stuff to provoke God. And, and you would say, to turn God off. He, he built... If you if you read sixteen, he he built an altar for for Baal because his wife was a Baal worshiper. He talked out of both sides of his mouth when it came down to the Lord, and God had someone Elijah the prophet to let him know that God was not satisfied with his leadership, with his behavior, with his conduct. God was not satisfied uh, with him. He, got, he had provoked God. And what happens in this 17th chapter is that Elijah has to confront King Ahab and let King Ahab know uh, that the Lord was upset. And therefore, the Lord would cut off the rain. Now, I want you to understand that being an agricultural community, society, most worthy, rain was not important, but very necessary. And, and Elijah went to Ahab and said, it's not going to rain for years. And then the Lord tells Elijah to go um, to a certain place by the Jordan and, and hide. Why does the Lord need to have his prophet hide? Can't the Lord take care of his prophet? without hiding him? Why doesn't the Lord just go ahead and beat Ahab up? The Lord works in mysterious ways. The instruction to Elijah was the Lord making a way. Because Ahab, if you read the story, is going to put a bounty on Elijah and try to kill him. Jezebel is going to motivate Elijah to kill God's prophet. But I told you the Lord will make a way somehow. Whenever times were hard and things were rough and, and bad and, 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 and we couldn't see a way around over it, um, how to get it fixed, she, she wasn't a great reader, but she knew the Lord, and she would tell us, as young folk, children, she'd tell us, the Lord will make a way, somehow. You may not see how. And, and let's come to understand that God works how God works, and when you have to learn when God has made a way, sometimes we miss the way that God has made. He told his God, go down, go down by the brook. Understand it's not going to rain. Go down by the brook. And, and then the Lord does something else and hides. In hiding, you have to have help. So, 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 so Abraham 
uh, uh, Elijah is 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 hiding, kind of a quarantine, and, and the Lord tells him, "I'm going to send you food by the raven." Now listen to me when I tell you this: ravens normally ate the food themselves. The other thing. Most of us wouldn't want a raven bringing us our meat or our bread. We would be suspicious. We wouldn't trust. We have to be careful because often we miss the way that the Lord makes for us because it doesn't seem seemingly. It doesn't seem to come the way we want it to come. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. The, and what if Elijah would have said, uh, that raven didn't wash his hand, his beak, his feet, and that, and bring me some meat, or some bread. And I, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to have to drink uh, from this creek. God can do better than that. But I, I'm going to stop and tell you right now, that the Lord will make a way, the way the Lord will make a way. And we must learn that God made the way to keep us. If Elijah had come from hiding, Ahab would have killed him. So God put Elijah in hiding and made a way for him to survive where he was hiding. Where in the situation that Elijah was in, God made a way for Elijah to endure, to survive, to thrive right there. In the midst of where we are in this pandemic, in this situation, you, you, you can't fizzle out and, and, and park. You, you, you got to look around and see how the Lord is making a way and understand what God is doing and what you can do. Amen. Being obedient, uh, you can do. Uh, see the miracles of God all around you. The Lord, the Lord will make a way somehow. And I, I, I'm challenging you right now because we're getting into many conversations about this, that, and the other. We're, we're talking the, 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 the negative. We, we, we're, we have anxieties. And some, of us ain't, some of us are tired. Some of us want to get out and flex. Some of us want to just do what we want to go back to football games and all those kinds. God said to Elijah, hide by the brook because they have trying to kill you. And I'm going to make a way for you. The, the Lord said to share with you, and I want to share it from grandma's heart to yours, the Lord is going to make a way somehow. You just got to do what the Lord said. So the Lord said, be still, be still. The Lord said, stay in, stay in. The Lord said, wear a mask, wear a mask. Wash your hand, wash your hand. The Lord is going to make a way, make a way somehow. Elijah, Elijah, Elijah obeyed the Lord, went to the creek and, and the the, the ravens, instead of eating the food they gathered, they bought bread. They bought it on time. And, 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 and Elijah was nourished by what God had provided. And that raven thing messes us up. That, 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 I, I want bread. I want water. But that raven, that, that raven is what we can't see around. We, 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 we don't see God using that raven. We don't see God using that wild bird. We don't see God using that thing that we don't like, that thing that we're not sure. We don't see God using it so we can survive while we hide. Now, Elijah, when you read uh, this whole chapter and read the story of Elijah, you will discover that that's not all that happened to him, that God has to provide for him uh, because um, the brook, the creek dries up, but then he sent him to the widow's house who has a little oil and a little bread, and she's just enough to make a couple of cakes, and she says, I, 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 I. I'm gonna eat my son, and I'm gonna eat this last cake, and then we're gonna, then we're we're gonna die. But he he tells the lady, no, no, just make me a little bit 
first and and if you read the whole story when when she does what uh, the man of god says then uh the the meal doesn't fail and the oil doesn't fail and they keep pouring out listen listen what i'm saying to you now the lord will make a way somehow and that's all i'm telling you don't worry don't keep wondering don't keep being afraid don't keep being scared just acknowledge the fact and say to those around you baby i'm not worried because the lord will make a way no food in the refrigerator uh, the lord will make a way not sure where our help's going to come from. The Lord will make a way. We have to get over this idea of the raven and not coming the way we want it to come. The Lord will make a way. It, it can look awful. It doesn't look like it. Just think about uh, what he does to that we can have eternal life. It doesn't look like Jesus is being victorious when he's hanging on the cross with nails in his hand, spikes in his feet, throwing a crown, crown of thorn on his head, blood screaming down, pierced in the side. It doesn't look like anything positive to come out of that. You know he died. It looked like he had lost, but death was the solution for us to live. His death was the solution for us to have eternal life. It didn't look like it. People laughed and frowned upon it. The Greek thought it was weak. The Hebrews thought it was foolish, but he died. And it didn't look like it. But the book said, because he died, I don't have to die. Not, not a spiritual death. He died that I could live with the Lord forever. He, 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 it, didn't, it doesn't look, when you read the story, it doesn't look like there's victory. But I stopped to tell you there's victory in Jesus Christ. Third day he got up. Because the Lord will make a way. He'll make a way somehow. you be blessed. you be blessed. The Lord will make a way. I don't know what you're going through. I feel you in the spirit. I, I don't know what the challenge is, but I stop to tell you, you, hold on to God's unchanging hand. Get off in your word. Start meditating and talking to the Lord. Lord, hold me in this situation. Because sometimes in our situation, we want to take matters in our own hand. Lord, lead me through this rough period. If I have to hide by the creek, don't let me uh, detest the raven the way you make for me. Don't, don't let me detest it, God. I know on the other side of this, but I'm just encouraging you. The Lord going to make a way. If there's somebody out there can, 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 can share with me right now, you know the Lord. You watched him make a way. You might want to call somebody and tell them, baby, the Lord going to make a way. Hold, hold on. Don't, don't, don't lose your mind. Don't jump off the bridge. Don't fly off the handle. Don't curse anyone out. Don't jump on anyone. You, you leave that matter. Hey, hear the Lord saying, peace. Amen. 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 The Lord will make a way in this hour. In the season that we're in. I know he will. You just keep on being productive in the Lord. Hold to his unchanging hand. Do what the Lord said to do. Elijah did what the Lord said to do. And it seemed like doing what the Lord says to do will sometimes get you in trouble. But I stopped long enough to tell you. The Lord will make a way. He'll make a way somehow. Be open to the raven. He'll make a way. Amen, amen. Listen, the Lord will make a way. You heard this word tonight. This evening, and maybe that it's just what you needed to hear. Maybe you're becoming a bundle of nerves, wondering and worried about all the things that's going on things you see on TV, hear on the radio, people say, maybe confusing. But I want to tell you that this is a time just to understand and continue to tell people around you, the Lord to make a way. You may want to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. You, you may want to become a part of this kingdom program. 
God's people, those of us marching uh, with the banner that says the Lord Jesus Christ is our Lord. You may want to do that. If you want to do that tonight, you've not been baptized, I want you to repeat after me. And I say this because it is the reality. And it may not be something that you do because we think of ourselves as doing stuff to be sinners, but we are born sinners until we confess the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. We are sinners for not accepting Christ. We're just sinners for not accepting Christ. I'm talking about those of us who believe we're sinners, not because we drink and curse and that, that. We're sinners because we don't accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. We accept Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit began to wrestle with the things of the flesh that are unbecoming. But we're saved when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit indwells us and as a seed, the, ho the Holy Word of God waters the seed and it the Holy Spirit empowers, the Holy Ghost empower us to get rid of the stuff that are uncommon, un un ungodly. He helps us to start shedding those things and getting rid of those. Not an overnight process. We must accept Jesus Christ. If that's you tonight and you want to give your Lord, your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to repeat after me. I say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my dead, buried, and resurrected Savior. And I ask Jesus to come into my life on me as his child. If you've done that tonight, I welcome you to the household of faith. I welcome you to the St. Luke Christian Church family. Please go online. Give us the information, the contact information, and someone will be with you. If you're already a child of God, you've been baptized, and you already know Jesus as Lord and Savior, but you don't have a worshiping family. And this family you want to worship with, the St. Luke Christian Church family, you too. Just go to the to the um, website, St. Luke Christian Church, Huntsville, Alabama. Give us your contact information. We welcome you to the household of faith. And remember what Pastor Johnson said in this hour, in this pandemic, in these perilous moments when people refuse to deal with the miracle, miracle that God has provided for all of us, keeping us in this pandemic longer. And because they don't trust man, I understand that. But the question becomes, do you trust God? Every pill I take got faith behind it. Because I don't believe man can heal. I believe God is the only heal, but he uses man to help. So when Elijah gets, um, uh, the creek dries up, he, he goes where the woman is. And God used the woman to help. A amen, amen, God, God, the Lord will make a way. Amen. Listen until we meet again. You all keep all the prayer requests in heart and mind please do literally pray for those on our list and don't panic in this pandemic uh don't put your trust in man put your trust in god and realize he's already provided a miracle a way out of this situation we just got to get people to understand that god sent us help not not man you be blessed